Do you remember when Band This came out? Was seeing those guys different, you know, than videos you'd seen in the past? Well, you know, I, I skated with those dudes, you know, all the time. So it wasn't anything. You know, my whole thing was it was interesting that when I saw I actually saw Band This, I said, man, these dudes are so much better than what they're showing in this video. Yeah. Like I remember when Stacy edited the video, we all went in there, guy, Gabriel Apollo and I, and he was working on our part and he wouldn't show it to us. He was all, man, you guys are going to be blown away. For us being that young, we didn't understand what, how amazing it is if you watch it now, you know, like the, the cinematography, the effects. When I see it now, it's incredible. Back then, we were just, you know, punk little kids that wanted to see more raw skating. We didn't want to see, like, those guys playing golf in the parking lot and acting all silly and dumb and wasting video. And then another weird thing that happened at the PAL premiere that we got bummed at is that, like, it was so gigantic. It was like this, that the PAL warehouse had a movie theater. And, like, we were probably one of the best parts in the whole video. And, like, when we went in to try to get a seat and like, to get in, like, people there didn't even know that it was so big you know they didn't even know that like we were in the video or who we were and we got denied the entrance <laughs> it will go over their heads. back at that time in the 80s and the early 90s you know I had had the best team in skateboarding for such a long time I mean you know typically I would pick up kids that I saw that I could see you know that kid's gonna be good in the future where somebody that like owned vision or Santa Cruz they weren't skateboarders and so they, they didn't necessarily they didn't have the eye that I had and as a result of having that eye I usually picked up guys that later on became great so other companies were constantly picking off me so you know we started hearing about world industries there was this one contest in particular that Rocco had been watching us at all the contests and um, he mainly wanted guy I know he wanted guy because he was all into getting the little kids then um, you know Mark Gonzalez he just called me up one day out of the blue at my house and he asked me if I wanted to go skate and I just thought it, I, I, I hung up and I thought it was you know one of those typical like dude is this you fucking Freddy shut up yeah. <laughs> and I just was all like fuck off I hung up and then uh, he called again and he was all like you know dude it's Mark Gonzalez man like I want to come pick you up to go skate he's all like yeah let's, let's pick up guy too We started spending like a whole summer at his house. Stacy had was leaving Pal, and I think we we seen like the vision Stacy had for us over there. We seen like Mark having that on the blind. I think that's all we were looking for is like some structure and like some vision. I mean, I could say that now, but back then I was just like, well, this guy's fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, he stays up till like 4 o'clock in the morning, like, you know what I mean, skating, like, downtown LA. It's like, this guy's great. We entered um, two amateur contests under PAL, the districts and the regionals for the NSA circuit. And by the final, we were already on blind. And then when we went to Reno for the final contest, they had made all these shirts. The shirts said, like, little boys who play with themselves go blind. And there was a bunch of, like, PAL supporters, like, everyone was, even our friends, like, that were, like, you know, some of the team managers, like, they knew what was going on, but, you know, they had to wear them. And it was just hilarious, man. I mean, like, we were just all like, whatever, like they're pissed off and like, so then we told Rocco about that and he was all, what? Like, fuck that, you know, like, no man, we're going to get back at them and they did those boards with the PAL graphics and I mean, that was just brutal. I mean, the ad, Dear George, <laughs> I mean, you don't see nothing like that anymore. There's no way, I mean, that's, that was just classic and I don't even know when that war ended, man, but they were definitely bickering.
I don't remember exactly how it went down. That was kind of a long time ago, and I don't always have the best memories. But the the impression that I had was that they were really, really good skateboarders, and, and, and perhaps I was a bit intimidated. I certainly wasn't threatened, but they were sort of in an Eric Costin kind of category to me at the time. And, you know, those guys could do tricks that I couldn't do, you know. I remember skating with Guy, and I, I learned uh, nose blunt slides. I did one. It's probably the only one I've ever done. And they were a little bit more advanced than I was, and it was really smart of Mark to get, to get those guys on. shit just now. I skate like shit all the time. Did you enjoy yourself today? A little bit. I, en I enjoy myself when I do a trick that I like to do and I make it. I don't enjoy myself when I attempt a trick that I like and I can't make it for 16 hours. And I don't enjoy the pressure of people when they watch you skate and you don't get any respect from them because you're not doing anything hard. No, it's Don't say what John Lennon said, dude. You don't want to be in any trouble or it's anything. because I only have five tricks and they're not really hard, so, you know. Oh, you, so you have five tricks, but you just do different variations. Like, you'll do, like, let's say Ollie Flips is one of your main tricks. You'll do it up on the grind, or you'll yeah, do it with the board. Exactly. Right? And then, like, so you just take your five tricks and turn them into different things. Too much pressure these days. Too much pressure. Who's getting pressure? I guess the public. Because if I don't do something that they don't like, or they don't see in any video, or they don't think it looks hard enough to them, they won't give you any applause or anything. But I don't. I care about what people think about me, but I don't want to care. I want to just do it and go, yeah, that was fun, and not care. But I'm trying to work on it, but I just do care, so. Just, uh... Did you leave your stuff in my car? Yeah. Uh... Do you just want us to bring it to you later? No. That guy's not very good. He doesn't do that many hard tricks. Do you want to, uh... What? 